I, I was thinking I would fight Japan. So, you know, I can think a lot of things. I, I, I almost supposed to fight like Keith Thurman, you know, in December. But there is such a, a lot of things happening, you know. So, but yes, they, they asked me if I would love to fight to fight. If I can fight good tennis, and I said yes. I, even when I was like 10 and old, before the, the lowest fight, they asked me, or after the lowest fight, they asked me if I would fight boots, I said yes. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So shout out to Mill City Boxing and shout out to Yoshido Boxing TV on YouTube. Uh, they did this interview with WBA, World Boxing Association's welterweight regular champion, uh, Lithuanian superstar boxer, Amanis Stanionis, who is undefeated with a record of 14 wins, no loss, no draw, nine wins by way of knockout. 28 years of age, 5'8", with a 68-inch arm reach, to which we know Amanis Stanionis, he suffered a, a setback. He was supposed to fight undefeated, welterweight, Mexican superstar title contender Virgil Ortiz Jr. on two separate occasions. Uh, one, he suffered a setback himself. He suffered an a, a illness, and he had to pull out the fight. And now uh, they were supposed to fight in March. And Virgil Ortiz Jr., he came down with another uh, issue, another case of his uh, blood. And Virgil Ortiz, 19 wins, no loss, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm each. They were supposed to fight in March, okay? Or April 28th, I believe. And that fell through because of Virgil Ortiz. So now Manny Stanionis, he's looking for a replacement opponent to which uh, he was asked about what about fighting the phenom, undefeated, welterweight, superstar, title contender, Jerron Boots Ennis, who is 30 wins, no losses, no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 74 inch arm reach. Uh, the last time we saw Boots Ennis in the ring was January 7th when he took on Karen Truakazin. He won a unanimous decision and people started to question and say that Jerron Boots Ennis was, you know, exposed in the fight and things of that nature. But he was facing a guy who was unwilling to engage. He was facing a guy who uh, had his stamina was on a thousand. And he just didn't want to, you know, uh, engage and he wasn't looking to get knocked out. And it was a difficult fight uh, to look good against. Right. So with that said, the last time we saw a main in the ring was April of 2022 when he fought Butev and he got a 12 round uh, uh, split decision victory in an action packed fight. OK, so with that said, uh, a man is Stanionis, He says that he was brought the idea of fighting Jerron Boots Ennis and he said, absolutely. Right. And he says, I don't turn down nothing but my collar, essentially, I paraphrase. He said, I don't turn down no fights. I don't duck and dodge anyone is what he actually said. And then he stated that I've been looking to fight Jerron Boots Ennis since I was 10 and 0. This is a fight that should have been happening. I'm, I'm more than willing to take the fight with Jerron Boots Ennis. Now, obviously, this is him speaking out loud, but we got to actually see the fight. Jerron Boots Ennis and his father trainer manager, Bozy Ennis, They've been looking, you know, to, to to have a big name fight on their on their resume. OK, this would be the perfect opportunity and the perfect fight. So with that said, OK, a man is standing on this. He's saying he's more than willing to make this fight happen. Now, um, what's interesting is that standing on is the WBA regular champion. And Jerron Boots in is, is essentially the in, uh, International Boxing Federation regular champion, as they call it, the inter uh, uh, interim champion. Right. Uh, and so he's the IBF uh, mandatory challenger. And they both on on pace to fight. Uh, undefeated, unified, three belt, WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five pound for pound best fighters in the world. And Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. is 28 wins, no losses, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 33 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch army. So both Stanley Onis and uh, Jerron Boots Ennis are on a quest to face Errol Spence Jr. and get an opportunity to fight for them belts in a big fight. Uh, but the thing about it is they may as well go ahead and fight each other because Errol Spence, he has no plans to fight either one of these guys anytime soon. Uh, and more than likely, if he do fight, if one of these guys is going to be at junior middleweight 154 he's not going to fight either one of these guys at 147 he has one fight in his mind 
in his sights, and that's a fight between himself and undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO welterweight world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound-for-pound fight in the world, and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford has a record of 39 wins, no loss and no draw, 30 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, 5 for 8 with a 74-inch arm reach. So that's who Errol Spence has his sights set on. And the, his plan B is former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Keith One Time Thurman, who has a record of 30 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, 5 for 8 with a 69-inch army. So uh, that's the plan B. And Errol Spence, he's already let it be known that he plans to move up to 154 as soon as he's accomplished this feat. So uh, with that said, the IBF, they they because Jerron Boots Ennis became the, the International Boxing Federation in, interim champion, he was removed out of the other major sanction bodies, top 10 rankings. Same goes with uh, Virgil, uh, excuse me, Virgil Ortiz Jr. He was removed out the rankings and so was um, uh, Amane Estanionis. So they need to go ahead, put the politics aside because neither one of them are going to fight Errol Spence. Uh, they're not going to get the opportunity. And so it doesn't matter who wins the fight. If uh, Jerron Ennis fights for Amanda Stanionis, then Amanda Stanionis, he'll be the WBA regular champion. He still get his opportunity to fight for that belt. And if he uh, stay with the IBF route, the winner of the fight is still going to be the IBF, uh, uh, you know, interim champion, right? And a mandatory challenger for that belt. So either which way they're going to get an opportunity to fight for one of the belts moving forward in the future. So this is a fight that, I think needs to happen next. It's a fight that, you know, uh, it's a statement fight. Okay. It solidifies the winner of this fight. Okay. It's going to solidify them as a major player in the sport of boxing. Right. Uh, and you know, both of them have high praise and both have, you know, uh, the ceiling and the potential is extremely high for both of these guys. So we may as well go ahead and get a fight between the two of them. Okay. And like Stanley Onis, he's saying that he was offered a fight, with Jerron Boutinis and the idea he's uh, ha happily accepted. And he says that he's been wanting and expecting to fight Jerron Ennis since he was 10 and 0. He said that he was also expecting to fight uh, Keith Thurman in December. He was supposed to fight Keith Thurman. So, uh, and then he was supposed to fight Virgil Ortiz, but all of those fights, they now fell through. So he's saying, why not fight Jerron Boutinis, right? Uh, and that's a, that's, a, that's a great mindset to have. Now, again, like I said, uh, they both have ties to Showtime, Showtime President of Sports, Steven Espinosa. OK, they both, um, you know, uh, 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 affiliated somewhat to the PBC, Premier Boxing Champion, founder and advisor Al Heyman. So this is a fight that could be made and should be made. Right. This is a fight that the fans will be clamoring for. Now, we know Bozy Ennis. He stated that um, they were possibly going to headline a card in uh, Atlantic City in New Jersey, right? So if that to be the case, then we may as well go ahead and get this fight ASAP, okay? Make Amanda Stanionis versus Jerron Boots Ennis in New Jersey, in, the, in Atlantic City, in the ball wall. Let's make it happen. Let's take it back to the days when Bernard Hopkins used to fight there. Uh, Floyd Miller Fort, uh, um, you know, um, Arturo Gotti there, you know, Arturo Gotti made that 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 his home, you know, uh, uh, plenty of big names used to fight at the at the, you know, in the boardwalk in uh, Atlantic City. You know, uh, let's go. Let's that that's the Vegas of the East Coast. You know, that's the that's where the fight should be taking place. Point blank and period. So let's get this fight going. Right. A man is the owners. Jerron Boots Ennis, you know, uh, many people. So Stanley Onis is saying that he don't duck and dodge nobody. He understands that Jerron Boots Ennis is viewed as the boogeyman and that is he's viewed as one of the most avoided fighters um, because of his ability to switch from Southport to Orthodox. Uh, he's big at five foot ten with a 74 inch arm reach. OK, he's very fast, very fast hands, very fast feet. OK, so uh, he has a high ring IQ. He could box, he could bang, he has power. So it makes him uh, for uh, he's a nightmare matchup. OK, he's a matchup nightmare. And most people want to stay clear of Jerron Boots Ennis. OK, and Stanley Onis is saying, well, guess what? I'm willing to take on that challenge. We know uh, the likes of Keith Thurman. 
he wasn't willing to make that fight happen. Okay, Keith Thurman's not interested in fighting Jerron Ennis unless it involves a, a life changing uh, money. So that's that's how you know Keith Thurman views uh, uh, Jerron Boots Ennis. So uh, uh, Staney Onis, this would be a fight. This is shocking that he says that he accepted an opportunity to fight Jerron Boots Ennis twice. So let's finally get it going. It don't matter what ranking system you're in. It don't matter if you're in the uh, WBA or the IBF because either which way the winner is going to get the opportunity to fight for the titles period so let's see how this unfolds and plays out moving forward but that's all i got for y'all man drop a comment in the comment section let me know what y'all think y'all already know what it is it's your boy blue blue blood sports tv hate like comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell icon to get all the new notification follow me on instagram at blue blood sports tv all one word y'all already know what it is shout out to the entire l d b c shout out to black media row Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.